depends on how high it's elevated um, and also any sort of symptoms people are having. So if, if people have difficulty with, with painful ejaculation or dysuria or painful urination, then sometimes a trial of antibiotics is given to see if the PSA will come down. So if there's really no indication that there's any sort of infection of the prostate, then uh, people will go for what's called a prostate biopsy. That's usually done by a radiologist or a urologist. And um, an ultrasound probe is inserted into the rectum and then a needle biopsy is done of the prostate and 12 specimens are taken. That is really what determines whether there's prostate cancer or not. Then uh, after that diagnosis is made, it's essential that people are evaluated by a, a excellent uh, urologic surgeon that can remove the prostate as well as by a radiation oncologist. Uh, I think that's very important so patients know their options. The uh, ideal situation is when they see them both on the same day uh, and uh, are able to kind of get the information at once. The questions that I would ask if I had prostate cancer I was talking to those two providers would be to say well help me understand how aggressive my cancer is what are my treatment options and how do I best go about making a decision weighing those options.